once you see your first albatross, you're hooked. They're incredible animals. They're absolutely magical. They breed most of them every two years, lay a single egg, and take more than a year to raise a single chick to fledging status. And their bond with their chick is absolutely incredible. That has definitely captured me and I have never looked back. Of all the birds in the world, seabirds are considered the most endangered group of birds. One of the main threats to them is seabird bycatch. South Africa has an incredibly rich coastline and our waters are nutrient rich, which brings a lot of the seabirds from New Zealand, from the Falkland Islands, from all over the world. The number of seabirds that come here are in the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of birds that forage here every year. They breed on different islands and they come to forage in our seas. So our responsibility is very high in terms of trying to reduce the impact on the global populations of seabirds. Seabirds are attracted to two things. They are attracted to the bait that is used by some of the vessels, but fisheries also discard a lot of the unwanted parts of fish, and that is a, an incredible lure for seabirds. And then when they come for the discards, they collide with the cables which are holding to the nets, and then they get broken wings. And then in pelagic long lining, they set up lines of baited hooks, and then birds they come to steal the bait, they get caught on the hooks. In South Africa alone, an estimated 10,000 birds were dying in the trawl fishery every single year. And a simple measure was able to reduce that bycatch to less than 200 birds. My name is Rizal Mwengera. I work in the Albatros Tax Force. My main role is to work together with the fishermen in trying to reduce the bird package. We have got simple ways like the use of bed scanning lines to scare the birds away from the danger zone so that they won't collide with the cables. We collaborate in making the bed scanning lines. We are working with persons with disabilities from Ocean View. They've got different projects which they are working on. We supply them with the material, then they make bed scanning lines for us, and then we sell them to the industry. Our main goal is to try to win the hearts of the fishermen and then try to explain why are we saving seabirds. And also to try to use the bottom-up methods of where they feel the responsibility of saving seabirds, of which that is happening. Now I'm so excited with that. If we reduce the bycatch of seabirds one step at a time, overall it's about saving our planet Earth. It's a very small team and we're trying to achieve a lot in South Africa. And I'm very proud to say that we have achieved a lot and we are very ambitious. But it's not enough if we want to achieve this for species that roam the whole of the Southern Ocean and that visit different countries. So collaboration, I think, is absolutely key in us being able to achieve what we do.